Hello Taurus, welcome to Femacy Lighthouse, welcome to my channel and welcome to another energy reading. Thank you all so much, we finally reached 10,000, so in the coming, I'd say, month and a half, my merch is going to be available for you guys to purchase any type of Femacy Lighthouse, you know, pillows, cups, sheets, t-shirts, hoodies, pants, everything. Okay, so that'll be opening in the near future. To book a private reading with me, all of that info is below along with all of the price listings. They are an hour long via FaceTime, Google Duo, or regular phone conversation. The best way to know when I will be uploading any new content onto YouTube is by following me on Instagram. That is also another way that you can book a private reading with me. Please follow me on my IG. The link is in the description box. All right, so happy Virgo moon, right? Happy Labor Day. Virgo's all about getting everything back into place, right? So it's time to put all of the summer clothes away, start taking out the fall clothes and just preparing for harvest. Preparing for how to realign yourself. It's a time to get organized. It's a time to create an agenda. Start making lists, right? I want to talk about the past position when it comes to your person, the person that you're dealing with. We're going to talk about the recent past when it comes to the person that Taurus is dealing with. Then we'll talk about the present and then finally the future. Let's talk about the past when it comes to the person that Taurus is dealing with, please. Please speak to me in reference to the past position. Okay. All right. Hmm. All right. So in the recent past position, we have this Pisces energy coming out here, okay? So again, I feel that your person could be dealing with a water sign, a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. If they are not dealing with a water sign, then I definitely feel that they've been very emotional lately. They've been showing more of their vulnerable side. They have been trying to appease others, right? It's like they want everyone to be happy, so they're trying to cater to everyone, okay? And I said everyone, right? So it's not just one energy. That's what the problem is, Taurus, isn't it? It's that you know that, yeah, they are obliging to many people at this time, right? And it's not just one person, okay? They want everyone to be happy, which is good, but you're becoming irritated with the situation. And the more spiritual you are, the more there's this fire that ignites within you when you know that something is wrong and when you know that you have to start to think about an exit, honestly, right? Because it's a battle. It's a battle. You know, sometimes you come to these readings and it's not always going to be what you want to hear, but there's something that has been difficult for you to let go of, that you're being called to finally drop, okay? And as difficult as that may seem, that's why I'm here. I'm going to help you through that. I'm going to coach you through that. So you're never alone, all right? You are a leader. You are the hierophant. If something isn't sitting well, then you're just a natural intuitive anyway, Right? So I feel like you're correct. Now let's take a look at the recent past. So showing up is this 
Five of Swords energy, right? This is an energy in the recent past. I asked about your person. So I feel like, again, this person, you think that they're up to something else and they only tell you what they want you to hear so that you can always be there for them, yet they don't want to give you their all. Yet, it feels like they just rather have you there while they entertain someone else who they are giving their all to, is what it seems like. Five of Swords energy isn't someone who's honest. Five of Swords energy is someone who has a bunch of swords there, you know, just not taking other people's emotions seriously. This person has a smirk on their face, right? They think they have it like that, which is why they continue to operate this way with you, right? Maybe some of you have spoiled this individual in the past and they believe that you will never leave them. We have the strength card in the recent past for them, right? It's like they pretend to be loyal, but I don't feel that they really are. No, there's just something else that I feel that they're always looking at here. It's an energy of never being satisfied with what I have. They want more. And yes, that's a good attitude to have when it comes to career, right? When it comes to investing in oneself, but when it comes to companionship, why can't they be happy with what they have? Why are they always looking for something else? And when they have it, they're still not happy. So what is that all about, right? In the recent past, I feel like they come at you with this page of cups, that small cup, you know. It's like they don't want to lose you, but they don't know how to treat you right. Don't know how to do you right, right? And here you are, the princess of pentacles because you are leveling up big time. Major, major public recognition, major opportunities headed your way. I feel that they know that too. So it's like they want a piece of that. Right. Or, or you're an accolade. They don't want to not be in connection with you. They want to kind of be a part of what you're doing so that they can say, yeah, I know that person. You know, it's, it's all superficial. I feel like some of you are dealing with someone that is really into what people have, you know, instead of how people feel. The way that people feel is not something that interests them too much. It's all about the tangible with them, you know? And it's it's too bad, honestly, is, is what I'm getting here. Please talk to me in reference to the present when it comes to the person that Taurus is dealing with. That's the recent past. Now talk to me about the present when it comes to the person that Taurus is dealing with. Talk to me about the present, please. Okay, those two cards wanted to come out, but we'll keep shuffling so they pop out. Okay, talk to me about the present, please, when it comes to Taurus and the person that they're dealing with. Talk to me about the present. Okay. So in the present moment, I feel like your person is in the Ten of Cups energy. So while you're sitting around thinking about them, here they are living it up, right? Doing whatever it is that they want to do. You're not a highlight nor a priority in this person's life right now. And I know that that's harsh, right? But I only can give the messages. That's what my job is. Before I get on here, I actually pray and, you know, I ask God to allow me to give you what it is that you need to hear, right? But I just feel like they're having this grand old time and 
you know, they're happy. So it's like, if they're happy, then go ahead, go on and do that. You know what I mean? They can go on and do that. And I feel like you need to drop an energy. There's someone that you need to drop. They're inconsistent. You know, it's like they only want you there. They, they want you to just always be there. And I don't feel like it's fair to you at all. It's not. You're dealing with someone who's selfish. They want whatever they want and they try to get as much as they can get out of a situation. And you're dealing with someone who's very materialistic, very superficial, all about what people have, what they got, what it looks like. But what do they have? Right? They like what other people have. When it comes to material and how things look, but what do they have to offer? What tangible material do they bring to the table? Right? I mean, if you're dealing with someone who has their own place and their own house, and that's good, right? Then that message is not for you, right? But for someone who wants to sit there and act like they got it all going on, I think that that person has a little bit more work to do on themselves, right? Which is why you guys are having an issue anyway. If somebody's insecure about where they stand at a certain age and what they've accomplished, then you're always going to have an issue. We have here the Four of Cups energy in the present moment when it comes to your person. So, you know, yeah, Ten of Cups, but at the end of the day, there's something here that even though they are happy with a certain aspect of the connection, there's still something about another connection that they're in that does not totally fulfill them. There is toxic energy here, Taurus, with this individual. There's a toxic connection that they have with someone. There is something that they know that is wrong and they continue to do it. It's showing up in their energy. I asked about them. This is Capricorn energy. All right, let's take a look at the future when it comes to the person that Taurus is dealing with. Talk to me about the future when it comes to the person that Taurus is dealing with. Talk to me about the future when it comes to the person that Taurus is dealing with, please. Talk to me about the future. All right, we're going to take all of those. All right, so again... What I'm getting here is a lot of water energy, right? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and then we have Aries energy. And what I'm feeling here is that they view you as this grand wish for them, but they don't treat you like that. Is, is what I'm getting here in the future. They're going to be feeling like the Ten of Swords because I feel like a lot of you are going to be removing your energy from someone's life, okay? And sometimes that's worse. <laughs> when you take your energy away from someone, right, that you have a spiritual connection with, sometimes that's actually worse than someone who they're around all of the time leaving them. You know what I'm saying? And so I feel like in the future, your person is going to be in the Ten of Swords. Let them continue to do what they do, right? It's important for you to feel the hurt. Feel it, right? Because there's only so many swords that you can take, Taurus. There's only so many. And eventually, there will be that last sword and it'll be it. It'll be it. We leave unannounced. And that's how a Taurus operates. You'll never hear from us ever again. And you won't even see it coming. 
unless you're a cross watcher watching me right now. Unless you're another sign watching the Taurus reading to see why Taurus left. But, you know, I definitely feel that you are leveling up and in your level up, people are going to see you shine. A lot of you guys are getting ready to be rich. A lot of you guys are getting ready to be famous. A lot of you guys are signing contracts. There's a lot of business meetings going on. There's a new project. There's a new, you are going to be rich. A lot of you guys are just, you're not fumbling the bag at all. Somebody is going to watch you glow up, get rich in their face and it's not going to be about money but since you're dealing with someone who's so into material and what people have they are going to have to sit there and watch your glow up and understand that nah now they can't be a part of what you built that now you're not even giving them an opportunity because of how superficial they were right Tell me more about Taurus and this person. Tell me more about Taurus and this person. And I know that Taurians, we love the finer things too, right? We love the finer things, but it's, it's communication that really matters. Honesty that really matters. Loyalty. That's important to us. You know, it's not... The big house with the gate with five cars and in in the suburbs or you know what I'm saying? That's if you have that, that's great. Right. But we don't. Th that's not happiness to us. The house, the cars, the no. We operate off of our inner truth, our spirituality. We're earth signs. We ground people. We're grounded, oftentimes humble. So you're going to have victory, right? And I feel that you're going to move on powerfully and gracefully. It doesn't matter. And I've been telling you for a month now, you don't need somebody in your life anymore. All right? With or without them, you are going to be victorious. Eventually, a lot of you are going to be moving. So they will not really matter anyway if you're not going to be living in that area anymore. Right? Big energy of someone having to lose you and, and have nothing they can do to recover you. And while they're losing you, watching your status go up. Like, I really feel that a lot of you guys are coming into more and more money and more prosperity and more success and more abundance and the brightest future that you've ever had. And they feel it coming. They want to be a part of it. But do they want to be a part of it because of where they know you're headed? Do they believe in your potential or do they want a piece of what's going on, right? Are they looking for something to get out of it? Since for some of you, money is, is sometimes even more important to them than the people that they love, right? So that's what I have for you, Taurus. Very powerful reading. I guess that's what this Virgo moon does, right? It's just, for me, as a fellow Earth sign, it's very blunt. It's very straightforward. Okay. And again, I just deliver the messages. I'm just a messenger, right? So please follow me on Instagram. The link is in the description box below. It's the best way to be notified as to when I'll be posting new videos onto YouTube. 
I want to thank you for your support. And if you want to purchase a private reading with me, just send me an email. That is also in the description box. Thank you and take care.